If you are planning to open up a child care center in the state of New York or expand your current programs in New York State, then this video is absolutely for you because we just got some breaking news yesterday. Hey, if you're new here, my name is Annie Christine. I am a multi-site childcare business owner here in Long Island, New York. And I started out as a group family daycare provider in Queens back in 2014. Currently, I own and operate three childcare centers while also providing support to other childcare providers all across the country as a consultant, where I assist with licensing, startup, and helping establish systems and different operational strategies. To be honest with you, I am rushing to make this video and put it out there for all my fellow New Yorkers because the number one question I get asked in my consultations is where can I get funding or how can I get a grant or where can I get the money to start up my childcare program? And I'm always honest in saying that I really don't know. I didn't start out my first childcare center with a traditional business loan or a grant. There usually isn't many options available to my knowledge, with the exception of over the last few years since the pandemic, New York State has released a lot of funding into the childcare industry. More specifically, a couple years ago, maybe a year and a half, two years ago at this point, the Child Care Deserts grant opportunity was released and I made a bunch of videos about that. You can check my channel, I'll leave them linked below. But that was a, to my knowledge, a once in a lifetime opportunity that I wasn't sure was ever gonna come around again. It has since closed. The last round of funding, to my knowledge, was back in February of this year, 2023. But now, as of yesterday, I see there is more opportunity to come. If you've been following me on this channel for some time, then you'll know that I am not the director in any of my centers. I did start out as the director of the first location when we initially opened for about two years, but then I moved on to working remotely and visiting my centers occasionally whenever we have meetings or just to check in. So yesterday I was working from home in this home office and I got an email that popped up in my inbox saying that there is a new grant opportunity released and immediately that sent off alerts for me because I'm always looking for different opportunities that maybe I can take advantage of with my programs or I can share to you guys that are in need of these types of opportunities. So I have my handy dandy laptop here in front of me because I'm honestly going to be reading and sharing all about it and um, well, let me not say all because I'm not sure what you guys want to actually know if you're even interested. There are two different opportunities, so I will share briefly about them. You can look them up or research them or let me know in the comments below if you would like to learn even more about them. And then I can make two separate videos diving deeper into them. So after doing some research and reading some articles and documents about these opportunities, I learned that yesterday our New York State Governor Hochul made a visit to a child care center in Albany to announce $50 million. Hold on, let me get this right. Two initiatives totaling a combined $100 million in funding designed to increase child care supply for New York State's families. This includes $50 million in capital funding to provide grants for the construction of new child care centers and registered school age child care programs or the expansion of existing centers. An additional $50 million in business tax credits will be available for eligible businesses that create or expand infant and toddler child care seats for their employees directly or through a third party. Now, that may sound really easy to understand for some of us, and for some of us, that might sound like, what do you, what do you mean? So that's the intention of this video to break down this in general, both of those opportunities in a little bit more detail. And again, if you would like both opportunities explained further based on my understanding of the documents, then please, please leave a comment below letting me know which ones you're interested in because I don't wanna waste my time. Now, I do wanna point out that second opportunity of the 50 million in funding to businesses so that they can create childcare slots for their employees. 
specifically is for tax refundable tax credits directly to those businesses that are creating those spots and it's only spots for infants and toddlers which is kind of similar to how when the desert grant opportunity was released they were placing a higher priority and paying out more money to programs that opened infant and toddler spots apparently there is a really strong need for infant and toddler programs, which makes a lot of sense because if you've been in the childcare business for some time, you'll know that infant and toddler slots are not really money makers. It's it's more so an investment into your business to create infant and toddler programs so that you can have longevity of care with families and trying to feed into your preschool or pre-K programs or school age programs, having infants and toddlers. Yes, you can make a profit with them, but it's not as much as you could with preschool and pre-K and higher because of the lower ratios, the lower capacities in the state of New York specifically, but I believe in most states, infants and toddlers have a lower capacity and a lower ratio, it, meaning that you need to have more teachers for less children under the age of two, typically, just broad, broadening that. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the first opportunity announced, which is the Child Care Capital Program. The state website reads that the child care capital program was created to provide funding to assist child care providers in expanding the capacity of their programs. The child care capital program will provide reimbursement grants for the design, construction, reconstruction, rehabilitation, equipment, and other capital assets for existing or proposed not-for-profit or for-profit child care centers. So whether you are a non-profit or you are for-profit, if you operate a child care center or you plan to operate a child care center, you could take advantage of this opportunity in order to receive a reimbursement for what you spend in building it out. Now you might be wondering how could this work if your program is already established, already built well as it says it's available for you if you're considering expanding if you own your building and you know that there is room for you to grow within your property if you can add on to your building and there is cost a, a decent cost associated with that then you can go ahead and apply for this to get reimbursed for whatever you spend on that build out or the reconstruction now, if you're already planning to go ahead and open a child care center and build from the ground up or rehab a space that was not previously a daycare and you have to do construction or reconstruction in order to turn it into a daycare, this is also a great opportunity. This grant opportunity is competitive. There is a limited amount of funding. Like I mentioned, it's $50 million for the whole of New York State and that is divided into it's 60% for downstate New York and 40% for the rest of the state. Again, if you want more details about the specifics of everything that's within this request for applications, the RFA, then please let me know and I will make a separate video about that. But that's the gist of it. If you're building or reconstructing a childcare center, then that opportunity is great for you. Now, if that doesn't interest you or you can't take advantage of that, then you might wanna look into the child care creation and expansion tax credit. While this tax credit may not necessarily go directly to your child care business, you could be the third party mentioned and partner with a different business so that that business can receive child care tax credit refunds and you could be sent the children of their employees. This is an idea that I've been stirring with all night from learning about this yesterday. I'm like, what sort of businesses around my centers might be interested in one, speaking to me, and two, actually doing the work it takes to apply for this tax credit and offering this as a benefit to their employees. Honestly, this this opportunity interests me the most because if it's done correctly, then there would likely be no cost to you or as a childcare provider. You just have to figure out how to make the right connections and how to introduce this program to whatever local businesses might be around you that would be interested in offering this. So 
If you want more information about that opportunity, again, I can make a separate video. There's tons of documents and information published online that you could do the research and find yourself. But if you would like to hear me speak on it a little further and maybe get some ideas, please like this video, put it in the comments below. If you're interested, you can book me for a private video consultation and I will speak with you one-on-one -on -one to go over your business goals. You can go to childcaresites.com slash Jenny Christine and I would be happy to help you. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.